Once a thriving coal mining town of immigrants, Heron now is a small community in southern Illinois. Fourth grade students at Heron Elementary School participated in a project to study children's author Ezra Jack Keats, explore the idea of neighborhoods, and create art collages with the help from Irina Eust of Heron City Library, local architects, and students and faculty from Southern Illinois University. Um, Irina approached me about the grant. She goes, um, asked me about, you know, who you think specifically would be benefit from this, and I told her, I said, right off the bat, fourth grade. They get what I want them to do. Their skills, they understand, they're eager. I thought this would be good for them, this would be something new for the school year. Uh, the more that people are aware of the importance of preserving uh, houses, commercial buildings, historic buildings, uh, and the more that it's uh, dealt with on a, a day and a day out basis, uh, the more successful it, it is. Um, how can I sit? How can I save the our, the older um, the old buildings in Heron from being knocked down or getting messed up? Well, sometimes it's not a hard thing to do. First off, the building has to be in some kind of good shape. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the brick has to be uh, uh, not falling apart. The mortars has to be good. The roof, especially, has to be not leaky. Because if you have a leaky roof. You know, within a year's time, you can lose the buildings. So that's the first thing. The second is to find people, other people like yourself who are interested in saving that building and work together as a group. When they're at home, what do they see in their own neighborhood, the buildings that really stand out to them, that they recognize that this is where I live, and what something maybe special or something that they think, well, maybe someday when I become older, I can change my neighborhood and make it better. Hopefully, we'll uh, be able to um, work towards preserving buildings, uh, assisting in that effort, as well as making good, good choices in their own careers in the future. Ready to get started on it. <laughs> Ready for the kids to get started on it. And I think they're excited about it. I think once I show them a little more about the books and the author, they're gonna understand a little bit more what they're gonna you know, be doing. Yeah, I think he was really innovative in his artwork and using collage because you look at his illustrations and he didn't just use watercolor, he used wallpaper, he used newspaper, he made use of any of the materials that he had. And I really like the diversity that he puts into his books. He doesn't just have one type of character, he focuses on everyone as a whole and really the joy that diversity brings. They're having a lot of fun, They're kind of getting to, to ask questions about different artwork in the books. and and they're enjoying the stories and the information. They seem to really enjoy what we're doing. Mm -hmm. To be able to get in front of a classroom and be able to teach about an author, a really great author, and to inspire the kids of what they're doing and how if they work hard and use their surroundings, they can get so far in life. WSIU tracked student progress with photos and videos throughout the project. Using what they learned about Keats' illustration techniques and guided by Mr. Moore, Students applied their imaginations to create original collages with colored pens, cardstock, and other art supplies purchased with grant funds. You're going to decide how much gray paper that you need when you look at your drawing, when you're making your buildings. This color paper is this building that's uptown. There's one that's this color. So I've got to figure out where I'm going to cut. And I've cut out some details, some of the windows, okay? This, this is at the top. I'm going to glue this, but I'm not going to glue this today because right now I'm just going to cut all my pieces. So if my window is this size here, so I'm tracing part of it. And I'm going to do one square there and a square here. Right? There's one window where I don't, can't get it to race because sometimes when you race on this paper, it takes the color off.
In My Neighborhood is a collaboration between the school, the library, and the community of Heron.